Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral um, messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash live coach sessions. Those will be once off and not monthly, and you can only book me for those directly via my email which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you'd rather join my Patreon instead, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title and why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? So the seasons of life, autumn slash fall, winter, summer, spring, right? All linked to fire, water, earth, air, right? Winter is the air, right? Summer is the fire, right? Spring is the earth, right? Autumn, fall. It all has its own role, right? So I'm channeling that. Um, I'm channeling that you need to pay attention to what flowers bloom in which season, right? Queen of Cups reverse. So this speaks of um, you needing to connect to, you know, Mother Nature. You know, because if it was upright, it would be that you are connected to Mother Nature, but it being reversed is symbolic to what you need to do. Um, you need to connect more with Mother Nature, you know, studying the plants and how they grow and what they, you know, carry in their leaves, in their, you know, in their structure, in their design. Um, you need to understand plants right so you're being called the ancestors are saying you need to understand plants you need to study plants um whether a flower um and its properties of what qualities it possesses Yeah, you need to do your research about Mother Nature, Page of Swords to the Moon. You need to develop a relationship with Mother Nature. You have a special connection with Mother Nature that needs to be unlocked. It already exists. You just need to tap into it, okay? So the Queen of Cups is symbolic to that. The Queen of Emotions reversed. Um, you need to begin your journey with Mother Nature because there's something based on information, insights, knowledge, wisdom, um, of what surrounds you, you know, based on plants, based on um, the flowers, okay? Plants and flowers, if you may. You know, let's rather say that. We have the Hierophant. Yeah, you need to learn. Like, 
literally you just need to learn if you have to read a book or you being drawn to do that if you were being drawn to watch something drawn to go somewhere where there is that uh nature of um existence or if you are seeing visions and dreams um but i see here that you're being led to do this okay you're being divinely guided to develop a relationship with mother nature and understand the outside you know how the sun and the moon work over the plants and the flowers and the relationship of the sun and the moon the sun being feminine the, the moon being um no the sun being um masculine the moon being feminine okay So understanding that duality, understanding that relationship with earth, you know, air, water, fire, you need to tap in. There's keys, answers, codes, clarity, there's awakenings, there's truths, there's so much to see and discover is what I'm is what I'm um, channeling here. That's the energy, okay? That's the energy. It's like the ancestors don't want you to live a life that is restricted in, oh, Google says this or, you know, whatever other factor of life influences how you think. They want you to have your own understanding of what you are experiencing. You can get guided by specific things like Google, but let that not be your determining factor, you know, of a specific thing. So they want you to be fed by different um forms of wisdom right forms of knowledge and forms of information um they want you to be open to learning and understanding and interpreting and seeing and thinking and feeling right they want you to to be open to the experience they want you to walk that path they want you to see and awaken they want you to notice what's going on you know, if you're in the confinement of a specific home um, or a specific place you stay, it can cloud your judgment about what's on the outside because we are taught that, you know, the boxes we live in must look aesthetically pleasing or have luxury comfort tied to them. But the real luxury and comfort is in nature, okay? And we lose touch with those roots when we disassociate from mother nature so understanding mother nature and creating a relationship with mother nature is what you need to do in order for you to be able to coexist while still maintaining contact with your roots or a connection with your roots so you're being taught to coexist with mother nature yeah so eight eight is significant here you know uh, endless possibilities Endless, endless possibilities is what I'm channeling from the number 8888, eight, okay? Eight of emotions, eight of cups reversed, um, eight of voices reversed. It's the same energy, just in a different element, right? Because how I'm seeing it here is you're going to be taken through a journey, a walk, a path of life of seeing things in a different way that have to do with Mother Nature, so the way something grows on earth in its soil, in its roots, and the components and the properties of it and how it can help your body, your mind, your spirit, or help you in life understand and interpret certain things based on perspective, awakening, truth, and clarity. You know, there's so much to inform yourself about, knowledge yourself on, and um, wise up about in the, in the reality of things. You know, there, there's outside um that's the energy that's the energy yes like it's very important that you transact your energy with mother the motherland right um mother nature right it's very important that you um take time to walk barefoot or smell smell the trees or touch bark right um or you know sort of like 
find time to engage with mother nature like find time to have some form of communication with mother nature um whatever medium of contact you want um walking barefoot is just merely an example an analogy you can do anything that you feel called to whether you want to hug a tree or talk to one you know whether you want to research about a specific plant or color of a specific flower or flowers that you're drawn to, you're drawn to pink flowers, you're drawn to red flowers, you're drawn to, you know, orange flowers, whatever it is that is in your spirit, your mind and your body is a part of your current journey, your current walk, your current path of life. And there needs to be a relationship here that blooms in the end of all of this, because the way you need to uh, go about it is you need to learn as much as you can. Like just learn as much as you can. There's so much to learn, so much to discover and unravel about life. Just learn as much as you can, you know. We have the page of voices reversed. They want you to be open to learning, you know, because so many people live life thinking, you know, that they know, but they don't because they are not there yet with their own consciousness. But if, you know, you open up yourself to many vibrations, wavelengths and frequencies of learning, you know, and how it can affect you mentally, emotionally, spiritually in a high vibration, a high frequency, a high wavelength, you know, there's endless possibilities in the good things that can come out of this experience. Because you get to live YOLO, right? Like you live once, like you live you're doing life for the first time. You, you walk with your ancestors. They're by your side guiding you with their own, you know, path of life that they've walked. So they're your past life because they have answers to things that you might, you know, need answers to. Um, but this is still your reality that you're living for the first time. So your consciousness of what you are living needs to be a personal journey. And it needs to start to start with the, the foundation of things. So... When you know your, 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 yourself, that's the foundation, you know? You are the foundation. You are the concrete, and everything else is built upon you. So if you're good, your life will fall into place as well. So I'm seeing here that, you know, learning that about life, learning to allow yourself to be good mentally, emotionally, spiritually, by allowing yourself to heal, do better, learn, right? make mistakes but choose to get out of that energy and 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 ascend right so plants and flowers plants and flowers i'm seeing a lot cactus jack um roses you know different elements of sunflowers and you know i'm seeing just um to name those that i'm channeling but i'm just seeing plants and flowers right um those that i've spoke are just examples but tap in in your own way figure it out in your own vibration wavelength and frequency we have the ace of wands reverse the ace of inspiration reverse it's your time to really connect like it's a good time to connect the energy is clear the planetary bodies are in alignment as you connect with mother nature there's a lot you can get out of it because if you um have paid attention to the energy we've come out of a solar eclipse and with that solar eclipse we've been lived some pretty um important energy that we can use in our lives to inform ourselves grow ourselves heal ourselves learn you know, transmute, transcend, and be better. So the energy that has been left uh, behind is for you to, to utilize, right? Harness and harvest it in your own divine way, the one, um, the way you were called to, okay? So the way you are called to. Yeah, look at that, more flowers, more plants, like Ten of Pentacles. So as you are being guided to do this, a lot is going to come out of it. As I've said, your ancestors are by your side, so they might, you know, uh, intuitively nudge you, call you to be in specific positions, 
with what you know and what you've allowed yourself to learn, okay, in the nature. You know, maybe you're going to learn about a specific um, herb that can help your body, your mind, your spirit, or, you know, heal your mind, your body, your spirit, you know, or improve your mind, your body, your spirit, um, and your heart, right? Just to decrease any stress or any chemical imbalances in your brain or any emotional instability in your heart, you know, a lot that you you you're gonna find answers about um a lot that you're gonna find answers to it's all in your reality and you just need to unlock it like a lot needs to be unlocked you just need to begin you know you need to begin to unlock like begin to tap in yeah like begin to tap in it's like you're going to get communication in however way you connect with nature whatever medium you use to connect with nature whether you want to be barefoot another that's just another example right just walk on the grass and whether you want to just feel on the trees the bark or smell you know um however way you're going to choose to connect to mother nature it's going to communicate back to you in ways that is going to help you in your life you know, in ways that is going to um, further progress you in your mind, your spirit, your body, and in your heart. You know, there's so much good that's going to come out of it because the energy is clear. And I'm channeling from your energy that once you just tap in, you're going to get so much out of it. Um, it's going to be a healing experience and you're going to be okay. Okay, there's going to be a lot to come out of it. Um, a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's time for you to heal. Is what I keep seeing the star reversed. It's time for you to heal, okay? There's nothing that's going to um, connect you more to your healing journey than nature. Uh, I am seeing that. So you need to be open. That's why you need to be fully open. All your chakras must be open to mother nature. Okay, allow yourself to um, experience it. It should not be something that you're allowed to dictate you, harm you, hurt you. No. Um, don't think that, you know, it's it's something that it's not. You know, don't let yourself be misguided or misinformed by other people's things. Like, allow yourself to figure it out on your own. You know, there's so much to life that you need to see, feel, think, right? There's so much life left to experience for you, and you're being called to experience it. Experience your life, okay? This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time, and I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I do offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as ancestral lineage readings. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, career and finances, as well as ancestral messages. I also now offer one-on-one -on -one sessions slash life coach sessions those will be once off and not monthly. You can only book me for those directly via my email, which will be listed in my description box below, as well as the link to my Patreon. If you'd rather join my Patreon instead, you can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.